It is a difficult question, is it? Do you carry on and think we're not going to let terrorists beat us or do you think, no, there's a security and an issue there, isn't there? You absolutely carry on. Mm. We can't. The one thing we cannot do is stop our lives and let them think they're winning because then that will compound itself. We have to carry on. We have to be more diligent and that's uh, both the public have to be more diligent and organisers have to be more diligent. We have to get on with our lives and it's make things a, work. It's had a massive uh, dent, if you like, into the national psyche, hasn't it? I mean, my God, children, as it stands, along with a lot of children, teenagers and grown-ups, of course, as well, um, are reserved when it comes to crowded spaces as it is. So not mm. surprisingly, people are torn about whether to cancel gigs yeah. or to move forward. Just very quickly, a summary from, uh, for example, ticket operator Live Nation. They're offering money back on a number of UK gigs, uh, including Katy Perry, Iron Maiden, James Arthur, Kiss, Robbie Williams, Phil Collins, Depeche Mode. Uh, Gary Barlow has said that uh, Take That fans can be reassured by extra security at the Liverpool gig, which is on Friday. Of course, it was postponed from Tuesday. Uh, Latitude and Radio 1's uh, big weekend going ahead with uh, heightened security. Glastonbury, of course, we look forward to on the 22nd of June, but again, with heightened security as well. So, I mean, right. you've, you've promoted these huge events yourself, obviously, yeah. so a bit of security would always have been key. Yes, But you wonder always. how how can it get more secure? I, I think um, if, if you look at what happened um, at the Bobbingham in Manchester, what what is clear is that the security going into a venue um, is pretty tight. We have uh, we have uh, bag searches. We yeah. have physical searches. Uh, people are filed in very carefully. In a lot of uh, arenas now, they have the airport-style security. You have to go through an X-ray machine, etc. Uh, there are more turnstile operations. People are more diligent with checking tickets, etc., etc. Mm. There are more security inside the arena. I've got some shows with Hans Zimmer coming up at Wembley. We played there last year. We had a dog search before. Uh, we opened the doors, etc., etc. So going into a show and during a show, um, that security is more evident. I think the issue here was, and clearly this was a very carefully planned event to cause as maximum damage as they could. And fortunately, they didn't get it as bad as it could have been had they have waited another two or three minutes. But nevertheless, on the out... The whole theory of getting people out of a building after an event or a show is to disperse them as quickly mm. as possible so you don't have a crowd So then together. one answer might be move it outside the building altogether yeah. and then you have to move on again and then you have to move on again. It's hard well, to know where to draw the line, yeah. isn't so it? So we will be... We've already issued a, a, a director. I've got 53 musicians on stage every night, so that's mm. quite a gang to, of just to account for my own people. Uh, plus, you know, the crew, etc. So we're going to be reviewing how the exit of shows um, mm. ourselves, and we'll be talking with Wembley Arena, and we've got shows up in Liverpool and Glasgow mm. in the next couple of weeks. So we'll be talking to them about the exit situation. But I think there is a point is where, where basically people just got to be a bit more diligent. And, yeah. and if they see anything they're not sure about, just report Black it. it.